Hey, this is Melody Levy, and I have the lovely Polynesian beauty, Tiani, today. And we're gonna do a makeover and give her a daytime look. Alrighty! I'm applying RCMA Cream Foundation in Shinto 3 on her mid forehead section with a Body Shop Foundation brush. Next, using the same foundation brush, I'm mixing Kate Liquid Foundation in colors D and G, which is a slightly lighter skin tone than her natural color. This will be our highlight color. When applying highlight, imagine a flashlight shining on her face and see where all the elevated areas would be or all the areas that the light hits. Those are the places that we want to stand out and brighten and we'll apply the highlight. Mid forehead, down the bridge of her nose, eye area, inner cheek, right below the nose, above the lip, and on the sides of her face and chin. Next, I'm using a Bare Essentials Concealer Brush and applying a darker, warmer shade of foundation onto all the areas that I want to contour. You want to make sure that the contour is roughly 3-4 to four shades darker than the natural skin tone. I'm applying contour to the temples and alongside the forehead, in the inner brow and following it down the bridge of her nose and down the nose tip. Next, I'm applying contour on her cheek, starting near the ear area and working my way towards the middle of her face. Repeat this on both sides. This will give you the nice, sleek cheekbone look you desire. Lastly, apply the contour alongside the jawline. Next, I'm using the MAC 130 Blending Stipple Brush and blending away in a circular motion. I'm blending in a circular motion back and forth, which also helps to conceal pores while you're creating that perfect canvas. When blending the cheekbones, blend from the ear inwards to the middle of the face. Make sure that you really blend away the jawline, forehead, and all areas, leaving no harsh lines left behind. Unblended makeup is no bueno. Next, I'm using MAC's 195 Concealer Brush and Krylon's Mini Dermo Color Palette in D3. I'm using a lighter concealer color alongside a semi-darker caramel warm tone and mixing it with the excess foundation to create the perfect tone for under the eyes. When covering under the eyes, make sure to do so with light pressure as the skin around the eyes are very delicate. Stay away from colors that are too light for you when covering dark circles as this will make the eye color appear more gone and noticeable. You need the warm tone to counteract the blur blood vessels under the eyes. Also, the concealer palette I'm using is quite drying, so I'm mixing it with foundation to let it be more blendable. When concealing other areas of the face, make sure to match the color accordingly. A blemish on the top of your forehead and a blemish on the bottom of your chin can sometimes and usually be two different tones. I usually like to apply concealer after foundation because when you're applying foundation last, it can move the concealer that you applied in the first place. I also use concealer on the eyes as a base. Using the 130 brush and my finger, I'm blending in the concealer and lightly tapping in whatever small areas of concealer with my finger. Sometimes a brush can move the concealer around too much. You can also use a sponge tip or a beauty blender. Just make sure to use light pressure.
Lastly, using a MAC 129 powder brush, I'm applying a no color transparent powder to set everything that we created. Be careful when using a translucent powder as it can leave a film behind. RCMA makes a great no color powder. Please note that you can also use a makeup puff when applying the translucent powder. So here's the finished look, a clean, lightly contoured makeup that you can wear daily. Hope this was helpful. Remember that looking beautiful is great, but feeling and being beautiful is even better. Love and light to you all. Aloha!